What's going on guys, Gizmodict here and this is the comparison between the Moto E3 Power and Xiaomi's Redmi 3S. Both of these phones are priced between 7 and 9000 rupees and a lot of you were asking which phone should you buy between these two. I have been using these phones extensively since the past couple of days so without wasting any more time let's jump right into the comparison. Starting things off with design and build quality, the Xiaomi Redmi 3S and the Moto E3 Power have a completely different approach. The Redmi 3S is made out of metal and it feels a lot more rich and premium as compared to the Moto E3. It feels a lot nicer to hold in the hand and even small things like the power button and the volume rockers feel a lot more solid on the Redmi 3S. The Redmi 3S also gets an IR blaster on the top and if you opt for the Prime variant you even get a fingerprint sensor. Both of these things are missing on the E3 power. On the other hand, the Moto E3 is completely made out of plastic and while it does not feel cheap, the Redmi 3S Prime definitely feels like a more expensive device. The Moto E3 power has some useful features like a removable battery and a separate micro SD card slot apart from the two SIM card slots. It also gets a nano coating on its body to protect it from minor water damages. So it's a battle of form over function here as the Moto E3 power offers more functionality whereas the Redmi 3S has a better form factor. If I have to pick a winner, it has to be the Redmi 3S Prime as it feels a lot more premium, it's less bulkier and it is definitely the better looking phone of the two. Moving on to the internals of these phones, here again the Redmi 3S Prime takes a strong lead. The Moto E3 power has a quad core MediaTek processor with 2 GB of RAM and a Mali T720 MP2 GPU. Whereas the Redmi 3S comes with an octa-core Snapdragon 430 with 2 or 3 GB of RAM and an Adreno 505 GPU. As a result, the Redmi 3S Prime blows the Moto E3 power out of the water when it comes to gaming and everyday performance. The Redmi 3S Prime plays almost any game that you throw at it and the Moto E3 power is completely opposite of that. It struggles a lot in playing games like Asphalt 8 or Modern Combat 5 and Nova 3 was barely playable on this phone. So if gaming is your priority, just stop watching this video right now and go buy the Redmi 3S Prime. When it comes to day to day usage, I expected the Moto E3 power to fare better as it has a bare bones version of stock Android. To my surprise, the phone does not perform well here either. There are frequent instances of frame drops and lags here and there and I did not find it to be as snappy as it should be. The Redmi 3S Prime, on the other hand, feels better while doing day-to-day -day tasks. There are some instances of lag on this phone as well, but they are less frequent as compared to the E3 power. The Redmi 3S Prime is also a more feature-rich phone with MIUI 8. You get things like second space, dual apps, quick ball, scrolling screenshots which a lot of new users would appreciate. Both of these phones run on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow but the E3 power is more likely to get the Android Nougat update first. In terms of camera, we have an 8 megapixel f2.2 sensor on the Moto E3 power while the Redmi 3S Prime houses a 13 megapixel f2.0 sensor. The Redmi 3S can also record at 1080p whereas the E3 power is restricted to 720p. When it comes to the camera performance, both of these phones are equally average. In broad daylight, the Redmi 3S Prime produces a more saturated and a vibrant image as compared to the E3 power. The Redmi 3S also captures in more detail because it has more megapixels than the Moto E3. However, in the indoor lighting conditions, the Moto E3 power produces a more natural image. The color reproduction is more accurate on the E3 and the Redmi 3S tends to produce a warmer image. In extremely dimly lit conditions, the Redmi 3S Prime gets in more light as compared to the Moto E3, but overall both of these phones are very average in terms of camera performance. Both of them have a 5 megapixel front camera which do a decent job in capturing selfies. One bug which I noticed with the Moto E3 Power was that I could not record videos in Snapchat with it. The Redmi 3S Prime on the other hand had no issues with that, so I hope Motorola fixes that with an update. To view these images and videos, both of these phones provide a 5-inch 720p display. The display on the Redmi 3S Prime is hands down better than the Moto E3 Power. It is more vibrant, has a good amount of saturation and even the viewing angles are better on it. On the Moto E3, there's a slight discoloration when you tilt the phone to the side. 
So the Redmi 3S Prime has a better display and you also have some options to tweak that display which comes in quite handy. In terms of battery life, the Moto E3 Power gets a 3500 mAh of battery and the Redmi 3S ports a 4100 mAh of battery. Both of these phones provide outstanding battery life and I could never kill the battery within a single day of use. The E3 Power used to give me around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time, whereas the Redmi 3S Prime gave me around 7 to 8.5 hours of screen on time on a single charge. So the Redmi 3S Prime is a little better in terms of battery life, but the E3 Power gets a removable battery and fast charging, so it has an advantage there. Both of these phones also support 4G and VOLTE, so I had no issues in using my Reliance Geo SIM card. The Moto E3 Power has a loudspeaker on the front, so it is a bit better as compared to the bottom mounted speaker of the Redmi 3S Prime. Overall, the Redmi 3S offers a lot more value at this price point as compared to the Moto E3 Power. It looks better, performs a lot better, gives an amazing battery life and you even get things like IR Blaster and a fingerprint reader. The Moto E3 Power really falls short of the Redmi 3S Prime and I can't really recommend this phone. If you have a budget of 7 to 9000 rupees, then go get the Redmi 3S or the Redmi 3S Prime. I know that it is out of stock most of the time, but it is worth the wait. So that wraps up my comparison between the Moto E3 Power and Xiaomi's Redmi 3S. If you liked this video, then please hit the like button below the video. Do let me know your thoughts about these phones in the comments. And if you'd like to see more such videos, then please hit the red subscribe button below the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.